So huh? we're looking for the one, many, and no solutions. And when you're working through, now remember the variable can change, but if you end up with x equals a number, any number, that means we have one solution. Okay? So x equals a number. That number can be zero. It can be a fraction. It can be a decimal. The variable equals a number means one solution. If we get a number equals the same number, that is many solutions. Oops, many. And sometimes people will refer to that as infinitely many. There are so many solutions, all numbers work. I've also heard that referred to as all reals, meaning any number I put in there is going to work. But if I get a number equals a different number, That is no solutions. So we get a number, or a number equals itself, or a number equals a different number. Oops, I should put that so you can see it. Number equals a different number. Then we have no solutions. So let's get to solving and see what these look like when we solve. Remember your job. What's the first thing that you have to do? Distribute, yep. First thing I have to do is distribute. So this is 48 minus 6r equals negative 5r plus 40. What's the next thing I want to do? No. No. Subtract. Combine like term. I want to combine like terms if there are any and there aren't any. Remember, I have to do that on each side of the equal yeah, sign. I so I distributed. I Combining like terms is not an option. Now, what's the next thing I do? See what I did? I've got to remove one of the variables. So I'm going to either add the 6R to both sides or add the 5R to both sides because I have variables on both sides. So I'm going to go with what Angela said. She said add the 6R. So 48 equals 1R plus 40. Now, what do I do? Subtract the 40. So 8 equals R. My variable equals one number, therefore I have one solution. This is a one solution. Brady, knock it off. Up next. Me off, sir. What's the first thing I do? Distribute. Distribute. 34 minus 9x equals negative 9x plus, what's 9 times 4? That was not on purpose. I was stuck. 20, um, 32. 36? 36, yep. Okay. Combine like terms if possible. Not possible on this problem. What's up next? Yep, I've got to get rid of one variable. So I'm going to add 9x on both sides of the equal sign. I end up canceling them out. 34 equals 36. What do I have there? No. No solutions. This is not true. If it's not true, our answer is no solution. Absolutely not, Brady. You know that. I'm sure you know that. Because you're doing, I think, what you can to um, annoy. Uh -oh. No, the squeaking, the on-purpose squeaking, that was totally accidental, Trev. Nope, that one was, see, it's him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. okay. So look at that, eyeball this. Different looking variables. Let's move on. What do I do first? Distribute. distribute. Do my distributing. 
2x plus 10 equals 10 minus 100x. That is a big one. Now what? Um, the x is the pregnant. Yeah, I've got to either subtract the 2x or add 100x. Do we have a preference? The 2x is smaller. Okay. That wasn't even me. That was not me. I didn't move my feet. Okay, there I am. Now what? Then, wait, why? What? You okay? Minus 10? No, I had a headache from yesterday. I had a headache from yesterday. Okay, now what? No. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's a, the, the divide, the, no. I can't divide the zero. I have to divide. Yep, I have to divide what's by the variable. So I'm going to divide by negative 102. And I'll end up with zero equals x. Now, a lot of people get to this point here. And they see 0 equals negative 102x, and they automatically think that must be a no solution. It's like your brain tells you that 0 can't That's equal negative 102x, but it is one solution. Because okay. if there is an x still involved, then I can still solve for it. The only time that a no solution or a many solutions is going to happen is if all of the variables disappear. Okay, so be aware of that. So this is a one solution situation. All right, up next. It's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Yeah. I thought it was Tuesday. Oh, yesterday. Okay, what first? Distribute. Negative 9r minus 36 equals negative 36 minus 9r. What's next? The r. Yeah, get rid of one variable. I'll add 9r or I'll add 9r. I only really have one choice, right? What happens? Negative 36 equals negative 36. Many. This is a many. So, I said ditch. I heard you. Clear. Remember, this is a true statement. That is a true statement. Negative 36 will always equal negative 36. Therefore, we have many solutions. All right. We have two more to do together. Earlier we talked about combining like terms, but we have never had to do it yet until now. Talk me through this one. What do I do first? Distribute. 10 plus 8r equals 6r plus 10 plus 2r. What next? Combine, like Combine the like the terms. The the so 10 plus 8r equals 10 plus 8r. Is anybody seeing something here? It's going to end up being a many. It's exactly the same on both sides. So when I subtract the 8r, which is my next move, I'll get 10 equals 10. Always true. Many solutions. Uh, the way you solve it is reduce, reuse, and recycle. Right. That's how you solve recycle. everything. Yeah. Reduce, reuse, and recycle. Okay. Last one together, then you're on your own. Tell me what I do first. Distribute. All of these have distributed. They do. Are the ones in our version have distributed? Yes, they will. All of them? Yeah. Okay. What's my next move? Get rid of one of the variables. So I can either subtract 10x or subtract 56x. Do we have a preference? 
Go You're going to get rid of 10. Yep. That's how I usually do it, too. 42 equals 46x plus 42. What's my next move? Subtract the 42. Subtract the 42. Zero equals 46x. That's in, divide by 46. Divide by 46. Yep, solution. I wanted to put that in there. Again, zero equals x, one solution. Watch out for those. Okay. One solution, final answer, done and done. We don't have any food. You have a worksheet to do for homework today.